Hello, I'm a stake indexing director, and today I want to show you how to index this project, the U.S. Florida Confederate Veterans and Widows Pension Applications. This particular image that I'm going to index for you has two records on it, so I'm going to need to make an additional record for this image. We do that here, add a record for this image. Okay, now you see I have one and two. Okay, I'm going to start here on the left. I'm going to need to turn my screen and make it bigger so we can see what we're doing. Okay, now this is a um, pension claim cover, which is one of the three types of images that we are indexing for this project. So first we have the former claim number, and that would be here on this line. There's nothing entered for this um, record here, so I'm going to leave that blank. Next is town or city in which the um, claim was, was filed. So we need to go down here. We see it says um, Celia A. Hodges of Hilliard Post Office. So Hilliard is where she was filing this in the county of Nassau. Then the day, the, um, the date, and that's the date which the claim was filed. Uh, you can see there's more than one date here, but we need this one when it was filed in the pension department. So 11 October 1913. Now we have the widow's name. Let's back up here. Celia A. Hodges. And then the soldier's given name. And on this particular uh, record, it doesn't say. It says widow of blank. So that's not filled in. So we will simply have to blank that. OK, and that's all there is for that one. So now we come to the second record on this image, which is an application for a pension by a veteran. And this is, again, one of the three types of um, records which we are indexing in this project. So former claim number. There is no former claim number on this image, so we're going to leave that blank. Town or city, we need to find out where he is residing or filing this um, claim from. And we see here on this page that there is no information about that. Um, if we go to the second page, so we find this is a continuation now of the same claim. And note that I've marked um, this no extractable data for this image because it itself is not a claim. But it has information that is helpful to us. Oops, sorry, it has information which we will need to use for the previous image. It says here Lake County, so we can go back here and fill in Lake. I'm fill filling it in for image 7. I'm going to go back to image 8 now and check if there's um, information about the town. He doesn't say where he resides, unfortunately. It says where he was born. Um, but there's no information about the town, so we're going to have to leave that blank. But we do have the county now, Lake, which, we go back to image 7, was not on this page. Next we have the date. So we're going to see here on image 7 where there is a date. And yes, there is. Here it says 9th July 1907. Now since this is not a widow's claim, there is uh, no information for the widow, so we're going to leave that empty. Then we have the soldier's name. You see that up here? Frank S. Robarts. So that's how you index this project. It's a little bit complicated. You do need to flip back and forth between the images quite a bit and look all over to find the information. But I hope that you have fun with this project, and thanks very much for watching.